afternoon everybody here we are again two o'clock on friday and it's a little bit wet out there today a little bit miserable but does it really matter we're indoors i've got a, a cup of tea in hand i've got my pen pencil torti on ready and we're off for tangling i am actually um or i have been this morning watching a bit of creating craft of course you know they have their christmas and i did say on wednesday that i, I wasn't going to do christmas but um, yes, I, I am going to do Christmas. I'm working on it anyway. But it is going to be a little bit later than I thought. It's not going to be the 18th. We're looking at a little bit towards the end of June. So I'm going to be cracking on with that over the, the weekend. We've actually moved completely now. So all the machinery is all piled up and the rest of it. So we'll be up and running as soon as we possibly can. Hopefully by Monday, that would be great. So... Thank you for everybody that's supported me through this and anybody that has put an order in today or later sort of yesterday afternoon, we'll, uh, we'll be on to it as soon as we can see the packing desk again. So yeah, here we go then. Hi there, everybody. Hi. Oh, it's just lovely, isn't it? It just feels like it's a community and I really look forward to these sessions. So it's, it's nice to know. And I don't know if uh, any of you saw earlier, I, I have done a thank you card. And of course, I can't give everybody a thank you card, so I'm going to pick somebody a little bit later um, once we've finished, and I will send you. A, I'll message you, ask for your address, of course, and I'll send you the uh, the thank you card I've made. But for now, let's let's make a start. I hope I've waffled along enough because I know some people struggle to sort of get on straight away. So I've given you a little bit of time just to settle in and just to get going. So hopefully, you've written your name on the back. You've um, written the date and all the rest of it and we're ready with our equipment um i know that we were loving the the colored tile from wednesday and that was really good and I thought sometimes it's nice to sort of bring that in but today we're sticking with basics so if you want to use a colored tile please feel free be my guest but today i'm just going to work with those that's it oh it is a concrete sky here too it's really bad rain wise here but it's all good it's okay all right then Oh, brilliant, Maureen. Book two. My goodness, book two, eh? Before the lockdown, we hadn't even got book one. Goodness me, you've been busy, haven't we? Here we go then. Deep breath. And let's just all settle in, relax a little bit. And let's go ahead and put our little dots. Now, this it's nice. I know some of you know about the dots and the border, but I think we're, we're having sort of uh, new visitors all the time and it's nice to to come back and remind us isn't it that we always well not always but we start our tile with four dots unless it's a triangle then we use three and then we go in with our border so what we're doing we're actually just joining those dots together and we don't want to be worrying whether that line's straight or not if you think it's really wobbly then do an absolutely really, really wobbly line on purpose. They don't, see, don't match, doesn't matter. It's there as a guide. Oh, I'm ready for book three. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Do you know what? I think you've got enough with two for now. I think let's let's work through them and let's hone our skills. And book three is going to be something special, isn't it? It really is. Uh, but, but not yet. Let's just have a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I've got my I've got my border in, and now I'm going to go in with my pen. As we all know, we use or I'm using a micron. I tend to stick with O2s. They're a nice size. They're not too thick and they're not too thin, as you can see. That's the size of it. So we want to be just nice and gentle with this, and not to you know not too much pressure on there. So where shall we start? I'm not going to start in the middle on purpose. I think I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to add in. One of those lovely little bubbles. Okay. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah. Do you know what? It was, it was um, something I'd prepped to do on, on the show on Sunday, and I just never got chance. I never got round to it. I thought I'd make it, and it's just nice. I wanted to give it away, so I thought I'd make the effort and finish it. All right. So I've got three bubbles there, and they sort of make a triangle shape. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I do have ones. Um, I think sometimes 
for a beginner it might be a little bit too fine but we we know what we're doing so go for it zero zero five is just as lovely and then of course we get into the uh uni the uni balls and things like that don't we and the roach rings okay so what i'm going to do for this one then i'm going to work from this sort of bubble here and imagine imagine i'm sort of going round and following the shape and as I come round, I'm going to put my pen to paper and I'm going to come round and then down onto the next. You see? Now, I know it's it's tempting to just think, well, I'm just going to go from there to there, so let's just do that. But honestly, if you actually follow around that bubble, it'll give you that sort of takeoff and landing and that little curve that you're looking for to create that kind of shape. And then back round. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, Julie. I've got two Julies. Hey, hey. Okay. Now, I don't want to be sort of really small with these. I'm going to sort of make the next one a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go back here. And you can see then again, I've created another sort of triangle shape. So again, I'm going to go round that bubble along and round that next one. And then I'm going to turn my tile and I'm going to go from here and I'm going to go around and into that one. Okay. Now already yours is going to look different than mine because depending on where you put these bubbles, it's going to look a little bit, a uh, little bit different, but that's, that's what we want. That's a good thing. It, it's all almost like we want to, I want to encourage you to do different. That's fine. Okay. So here we go from there, round and in. And then I'm going to turn it round and I'm doing the same again here, round and in. Okay. So they're not too small, but because I want to do something in there. Hi, Jane. Hi, Fee. Oh, it's my V. No, watching's not going to make you sad. It's just going to, we just, you're just part of the community. It's just nice to come and say hello, isn't it? So, no, glad you're, glad you're with us. Well, I hope your shoulder gets a bit better soon. Oh, Rhiannon, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good product. And I do have some of that in. <clears throat> okay. So. I'm not worrying too much about where I put these, but I've sort of got a little bit of a row there. Okay, let's go. I'm going to put another one sort of here. Um, let's go there. Okay. And then round here, down to this one. And turning it round. So I'm not, I'm not after creating a specific shape a minute. It's, uh, it's just nice to be a little bit random at times isn't it so let's do one here and around here now obviously I've I have done one of these already I've done a sample and it's totally different to this one but it's I, I do plan I know it doesn't always appear that that's the case but I do plan all right so I'm going to come out the border now that's why we do our border in pencil because we can work around it and play with that a little bit later. There we are. See, we've come right totally around the border. Now the choice, I'm going to go to this one. All right. And then, of course, I'll random all the time. <laughs> That's a good way. It keeps people on their toes, being random all the time. Yeah, look. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, so I'll put one there. Now, sometimes, you know, you might want to just put these bubbles in first and then go ahead and add the lines in. But I think I like to put the bubbles in and, and make my decision as to where I'm going with things. There we go, see, I have a large one there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Well, you know, it doesn't look like anything, but it's not meant to. I'm going to go out the, uh, the border again. 
Oh, I know, Bernadette. Yeah, it's just it's nice to be a little bit, you know, reckless, isn't it? And go out the border. I think it makes for a far more interesting piece too. Right. Oh, Alicia, but it doesn't matter, you know, if you go, even if you go the other way, you know, it doesn't. I think the trick is to try and keep them the same. So I'm going this way and creating an S. But if you want to go that way and create something entirely different, if you do them all the same, then you're going to be creating something different again, aren't you? And that's your own version of it. It really doesn't matter. I think sometimes maybe I, I don't help because I'm left-handed. And I know you think, oh, so. But you're seeing what I'm doing in a sort of slightly roundabout way, aren't you? Um, so when I'm curving this way, you, you, sometimes, it, I don't know, it may, may come across as a little bit unnatural for you right-handed people out there. So do what fits, do what's comfortable. All right. So we've got lots and lots of triangles up there. A minute. Okay. Yeah, oh, Tracy, you know, that's fine. The idea is that you've got spaces to work within, so that's absolutely fine. Oh, do you know, it'd be, it'd be lovely, you know, this is the point in the class where you say, well, let's just share what we've done, and everybody goes, oh, no. But you know what, they're not that different, and it's nice to see a bit of variation. Okay, so I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose one of my largest, I think. <laughs> and then in there, where we go? And you know, though... It, who knows what it's going to look like. It doesn't really look like anything at the minute, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I've put another bubble in the middle. <laughs> there you are. So around and down. We've sort of done this pattern before. So I'm going to follow it through, round and down. And same again. It might help if you keep your finger on the one you're working on, so we know. <laughs> so it's this one here. So whilst I've got my finger on that, I'm going to come up in the middle. Then I'm going to come up and out. And I'm going to split the space. And this, again, it's something that I do quite a lot. You see, I'm using that same curve and I've actually got lots of stripes in there now. And... Then if I add on a little curve on the edge, you see, and then fill in that space around there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and I think I try sometimes not to move my tile too much because I'm aware it might make you a bit dizzy but also you've got to try and follow what I'm doing so you see like I'm, I've split my space there into sections and then adding that little curve on the top edge and colouring in the space that's left okay all oh, those little bits Neatening it up into that section there. Okay. Oh, Tracy, have you? But it's your book now. <laughs> oh, I hope you like it. You know, it's there's a lot of work goes into a book, and it's a lot of thought. And uh, so I hope you know. I hope people like it. It's covered what we've done in. in you know, in the lockdown with all our tiles. So it gives you the the written word and the pictures as well so you can see what we did. For me, it's it's a little bit of a journal that you can say, oh, this is what I did during this time. And it's just nice to keep, isn't it? Of course, then to fill it up with your own little tiles as well is lovely in the background, in the back of it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alicia. Yeah. Um, people do share their work. They tend to share it not on this page, but on just Sandra Rushton because you can add it on there. Um, there's lots and lots of pictures. So you just, I'm sure it's put, it's open to the public in that sense. So just put it on there and uh, yeah. Oh, great part. Look. So we've got this little pattern. It's it's 
nice and swirly, isn't it? It's made that triangle sort of stand out a little bit. So I'm going to do that pattern again, but I'm not going to do it on all of them. I'm going to choose another one. Uh, well, I'm going to go with this one. So let's let's do it again. I'm going to go in with a bubble, okay? And I'll make it a little bit larger. So we're just focusing on this one, and I won't move it at all, okay? So I'll work around it. Round the bubble just as before, and I'm going to create that same shape going to the end, or to the edge of that chair. And then around here, and then to there. And then the same here, look. But if you turn your tile, it's going to be easier for you. So I've done exactly the same pattern we've done here, but I've done it from the middle, and I've gone to each of the ends of the shape. So the same pattern and now I've split this first section in two and then I've got each section I'm going to split again and again. So I've sort of evened it out a little bit. Yeah. Oh so I, I don't know if we remember it wasn't that long ago that some parcels went missing. Yeah and uh, I had a little bit of an issue with Hermes, bless them, as they said it was they were never received. Wow, there's quite a few parcels now turning up and people are receiving them, so. It's a, it was a tricky one. It was quite a time though, wasn't it? Post was getting really silly. But hopefully they, they're getting back to almost normal now. Okay. All right, Joyce, no worries. Day, oh my goodness, day 81. My goodness me. Oh, Karen, you've started the dream catcher. Oh, wow. Just go with it, honestly. You love it. Do it all in pencil. You'll be fine. If there's anything that you're not sure of, then just you know, message me. And if it's not me, I can... Uh, you know, we'll help you out a little bit. There we go. So I'm just... All I've done at the top of these sort of lines, I've just added in that little curve. And then I'm going in and filling in the space that's left. Okay. All right, so last space here looks so. I'm gonna split it into two, two sections, and then I'm gonna split this, so I've got one line, two lines. Same here, look, one, two lines. And you see how this has got a flat edge where these haven't? So if I go in and add just a little curve, on that top edge and then fill in the space okay let's have a look at that oh thanks Mitch there we are so I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one now if I do another one here it looks a little bit too uniform and I want it to be a little bit unusual so Let's think. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to do this one here. So a little bit smaller because it's a smaller space. Oh, Shelley. Is it like Christmas? I had a, pos uh, a parcel, a parcel this morning too. I am, um, I've treated myself to um, a little gift. It's been something I wanted for ages, but um, not got round to sorting it out. So I'm really, really happy, Bunny, with my my new Prezi. It's um, don't know if anybody. I'm, I'm not particularly into bags, but I do quite like satchels. So I've um, I've had a custom made satchel with my brand on it. And the front pocket has been printed with the artwork from the Volume 2 Artistic Forms and Frames book. So it's truly unique. It's a lovely black satchel with, the, with that print on it. I'm absolutely over the moon with it. <coughs> That's brill. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I, I could go ahead and I could do this pattern out all of them, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to mix it up a little bit. So three, I think there is enough. Yeah. 
No, not shoes, Jane. It's, the bag's lovely. And I, do you know, I have got a pair of white shoes that I want to, um, I want to draw on and I just haven't had the time. I know everybody says we haven't got time, but truly I haven't. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lindsay, I will post a picture later. I'm just sort of, um, getting on with my Christmas at the minute because if I, if I don't, we won't have anything for Christmas. But I will, I'll post, I'll post a picture and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm just auroring or you know, drawing my line in and around that shape there. Nothing special there, I just worked it in. Oh, Gracie, yeah, black tiles and gel pens, that's just fabulous. That's a, we don't want much in life, do we? We just want black, black tiles and gel pens. Okay, I'm going to go to an old favourite here of a, a tangle within this space so it's two lines now you can go wider you can go narrower and then i'm going to do another two but you can see this time i'm going underneath so it sort of goes and crosses there so yeah oh christine they'll be there they will so we've um we've moved all the machinery so we've we've got to go in and john's just trying to get to get it all in some sort of order at the minute We've got to go in and make sure everything works before I put them on the website. I'd hate to put it on and then, you know, it'd be delayed because, I don't know, we've we've moved a guillotine and we it's nowhere near a socket or something. So as soon as we get that done, I'll put some up and I'll put some on there for you. It won't be long, honestly. And if I go in tomorrow and it's all up and running, I'll put some on tomorrow. I know some of you are asking about pre-strung journals as well. Uh, I have printed some of them, but again, because we've had to move the machinery, I haven't been able to cut them yet. So again, they'll be on either the weekend or, or, you know, early early next week. Okay, so that's a series of, of lines that I've created. Uh, so you can get thicker and thinner. It's a really nice pattern to do and you can mix it up as you've, if you've been watching all the videos, you've seen them. You know, we're drawn on and all sorts of things. We've got wider and narrower. Okay. So I'm going to go and do another one of those. So here we go. Into this one. Oh, Gracie, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Tangle the door. That'd be great. What, what, what are you going to use? Are you going to use, um, I don't know. A, a thicker pen, maybe one of the Sharpies or something? Or are you going to be... I mean, if you go in with pencil first, it's going to take forever, isn't it? Because you've got to then go over it. I'd just go for it in pen. That'd be ace. That'd be absolutely ace. Yeah, there we go. And it's quite, it's kind of nice, actually, that uh, we've all met today, because... Uh, it's quite a it's quite a sad day, really. June the twelfth for me. It was uh, exactly a year ago today. I lost my uh, I lost my Sheltie, my Leah. She uh, she had kidney failure, and it was very very quick. And one minute she was fine, and the next not so good. And um, yeah, today's a a sad day, but but a good day because you know she she was happy. We loved her. And of course, we've um, we've got little Benji now. I mean, Seth. Once when Leah went, Seth was really lonely. So uh, we treated him. We bought him a Christmas present. We <laughs> brought him a puppy. <laughs> oh, it's it's okay, Pat. She was lovely. She was absolutely divine. My little girl was. But yeah, but we've <laughs> we we got Benji for Seth. And oh my word, yes, is he a little bit of a crazy dog? Yes, he is. But he's uh, he's given Seth a new lease of life. Yeah, and I'm sure Seth wishes he could uh, sometimes send his Christmas present back. <laughs> well, the look on his face says that anyway. But uh, no, no. But here we go. So just. Filling in another one in these spaces. I'm, keep, I'm keeping it quite small today. Uh, I'm not doing anything too sort of large. 
and this is a great one if, you, if you've not done much tangling i know we're all a bit obsessed but if there's anybody out there that's not done much at all then this is a really nice little pattern that you could use to fill things in and it's uh, it's it's lines it's, if whether you use straight lines or slightly wobbly it really doesn't matter and then of course you can color the bits on the inside you can leave them there's a lot of things you can do with them okay oh it was elaine yeah yeah gosh she was jay wasn't she? she was like a little princess and i have a fantastic photograph of her where she'd uh, been in the craft room and she'd got pink glitter on her nose and that was everything that you need to know about leah such a sweet little girl she was it's so sad but uh, you know they, they come into our lives don't they and and you, you think, how are you going to ever manage without them? But you just have to, you know, do what's best for them, don't you? We hurt so they don't have to. Yeah. Do you know what actually makes it? Because a lot of you out there have got the To the Moon and Back kit. And that was all, that's based on Leah. So the actual silhouette of the dog is Leah. And every time I see one of those, it brings it back and it makes me smile. So it's nice. Thank you for sharing pictures of that. I love it. There we go. Now you see that I've done four on purpose. I've got three of these and I didn't want to do three of these as well. So I've actually um, working it so it's slightly random. Oh, thanks for yarn. Yeah, she did. She was spoilt rotten. Well, they all are, to be honest. So, okay. Let's pick a smaller one this time. Oh, that's good. Karen, I think four is probably the youngest. Again, I'm going to go back to a, a tangle we've done before. And I'm going to work it. So creating these wonderful little swirls. Little dot. You don't have to start with the dot, but I like to do that because I feel like it fixes me to that position. It's like I've made the decision that that's where I'm going to start. And then just gives it a little bit of a oomph in the sort of the middle there. There we go. There we are. Now you can do these different ways. You can do them back and forth, anti-clockwise, clockwise. You can do a bit of both. And then I'm just going to fill my space in with a little bubble. If I can get one in and then just colour it in if I can't. There we go. Again, really nice one just to fill in. Oh, great, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, Fia, wait till you see. Benji is huge. <laughs> he is. He's, uh, he's a lot bigger than Seth, which is surprising the hell out of me. I know, it's almost like we've got a bit of a rough collie, let alone a Sheltie. But no, he's adorable. He is. There we go. He's uh, downstairs sleeping at the minute. So, uh, yeah. He'll be up in a little while. Annoying Seth. There we go. So I'm just see how I sort of wander and I go underneath. Let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see. Oh, I know, Sue. So it's, uh, it's one of those patterns I think that you do and then you don't do for a while. And you come back and you think, oh, wow, I remember that. I enjoyed doing that one. This is uh, one of the first patterns I think I ever did. And I thought, oh, okay, we can, we can do this. We've got this. But you can change it up as well. You can make them fatter or thinner and wobbly or not. I mean, there's, there's a few patterns that change, in, but they use this as the basis. So it's nice to, to come back and just remind yourselves. So we can go really technical and... Well, I say really technical or any... But we can do all these um, and then we can come back and we can fit these in as well. It gives it a nice bit of texture, doesn't it? So again, I'll add, add some bubbles in where I can. And uh, then just fill it in with your ink as you go in. So if you've got book two then, are you, are you going to start at the beginning? Or are you going to sort of open the page and... You know, start at the start at the back maybe or which tile are you gonna do first? 
Oh, brilliant. Oh, at least it's nice, isn't it? People are getting their parcels now. Let's have a look at this. Oh, see, it's looking quite nice, isn't it? It's got the straights and the curves, and it's got a little bit of a mixture there. So, what are we going to put into this one? Do we fancy? Oh, oh, let's do it. Go on, let's do it. Do we think? Here we go. I'm going to go from here, out here. So, from here. But I'm not going to follow the curve. I'm going to stop there. Do we know what's coming? Okay, so I'll watch again. From here, starting in this corner, I've come outwards. So, then I'm going to start... I'm going to turn my tile, but I'm going to start now on that line I've just finished on. There. And come out. Okay, I'm going to keep my tile where it is, but you could turn yours. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to work out. Okay. And then from here, out. Oh, you do, Karen. You do need to start and work in that journal. Do you know what? I've got a, a brand new, fresh journal here that I need to start because I've finished my last one. And uh, you and I are a little bit apprehensive about starting it. That's not like me. I think it's, I don't know. I, I want to have, I think, the time to sit and do the first couple of pages. I think that may be what it is. But, you know, I shouldn't procrastinate, should I? That one. Yes, paradox. We love paradox. Look at that. Do you know what? Just to make it a bit different, I'm going to do the same on here. Let's have a look. So, see where I've got this sort of curve? I'm going to do the same. See, this is not planned at all. And from there out. And from there out. Sometimes you've just got to go with it. It just needed that thing. There you are. So now it's that doesn't look like the, the original triangle at all. Oh, no, Rihanna. So, well, they, they don't know it's hard, do they? You can say, oh, this is hard, but we believe it. And then I'm going to add another triangle here. Look. But kids are like, yeah, okay, just let's just get on with it. Actually, that's John's had a go at doing that. John is certainly the reluctant tangler, but he's had a go and he's, he can do paradox. Yeah, I just think that needed that one there. So, let me just do... I am going to do paradox in this one as well. So again, look, from there to a point. From there, outwards. So I'm always starting from where I finished last time and going out. And it sort of creates this illusion that it's moving. There we are. Oh, look at that. Oh, that sounds good, Carol. Okay. So, here we go. I've got the space sort of here now. I'm I'm not going to sort of work too far out of the border, but let's go in with two little lines. So you'll remember this one. A little curve. And then I'm going to do a bubble on the top. Yeah, and around, and a curve, and a bubble on the top. So for some of us, a lot of the patterns that I've used today are what we've done before. But I think it's nice to revisit them because hopefully you'll look at them and think, oh, either one, I can, I can do these now, or two, oh, didn't think I could do these, but actually I've done pretty well. It's, uh, it's something you do have to come back to sometimes and just give them another go. It's, uh, you know, these are uh, these are sort of our bread and butter, our staple, different types of patterns, and it's it's good for us to review them. There we go. You see how it grows. This one. And I'm not trying to create a specific pattern. I'm just using the outline that I've got there. And you see this line here where they're sort of growing from. I'm going to go in and I'm going to thicken up that line. You see? So I can see it. I think I actually I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thicken up all around the outer edge. And then 
So if you've got a thicker pen, by all means go in and use it. It's called uh, poke root, so poke root. And there's a leaf that forms from that one too, and that's poke leaf. Uh, I know we don't always mention the names of things, I think sometimes um, we worry too much about what they, they call them rather than just doing them, it's less is more. Oh, yeah. You can see I'm just going around and just sort of thickening up that outer edge and back to where I started. Okay, let's have a look at that. The magic mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's have some coming out of here. Now these, I find that people do these a lot always a lot different some people do them really round some large some small some are quite squashed they're all varied and this is the nice thing about them because you create your own little characters and i think that's really nice to do <laughs> don't uh, don't worry about them being different or slightly different shape you see, I'm not going to fill the whole whole lot in. I just want them sort of peeking out or poking through. See? Yeah, let's, let's break some of this space up here. They are actually based on a real weed that uh, grows out in America. And they are called poke root, apparently. I think they're pink, bright pink. I perhaps should look them up, shouldn't I, and... Uh, have a look at them. Well, for now, this is how they look to me. It is Julie, and I knew you'd be saying that. I knew. Mind you, now we don't just have zingers, do we? We've got all sorts of different patterns we could use. Not just a zinger, but you know, if you want to put one in, I might throw a few in in a little while. Let's see. Uh, see how this goes. There we are. So, I don't know, maybe the rounder your little roots are. I don't know, maybe it's got something about it. You know when you doodle and it tells you what your sort of your subconscious is thinking. Maybe the rounder your poke root is. I don't know, you might be slightly more, more open to options, for example, or you know, I don't know. So, one of those things, isn't it? Oh, shall I? Interesting, yeah. That's it. Never really looked at doing that. I've done them a lot thinner. I've done them with a very fine pen, but I've not gone. I've not gone thicker. Maybe I should have to have a look at that. There we are. my way through I kind of just say as well you know I know a lot of you you send pictures and it's absolutely lovely but I never get fed up of you sending me pictures I really don't and I know if I don't always respond I will get to it I will but um, don't don't think I'm not going to send them because she must be fed up with receiving these or uh, oh, that she's not bothered I, I am I, I do like to see what you do and if there's anything as well that you, you're doing and consistently thinking, do you know what, I haven't got this, or there's something not quite right with it, please, please post or, or message me. And, and if I can sort of do it another way, or I can direct you to maybe another video, or, you know, a different person actually demonstrating how to do a particular pattern, then... I'm more than happy to do that. I would hate you to to do something and think, I just don't get it. So put your pen down. That's, that's just not what we want. So please don't don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, they're lovely. You see, I'm going on purpose. I'm leaving this gap because I quite like the fact that they're sort of in and around. And again, it's very random, isn't it? 
So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add back in that border line. And obviously, if it's going through some of those little shapes, I'm going to pick up and take it underneath. Turning as I go. And again, I find drawing a straightish line easier coming towards me. But you might find it easy going horizontal. Or I don't know. Whatever works for you. You can see it. Or maybe you can't see. I'm not I'm not drawing in exactly where that pencil line was. I've, I've changed it around a little bit. So there we go. Okay. So, yet, yeah, do you know what? Sometimes it, it is about doing the same pattern a few times. And if that's the case, then, you know, each time it's going to be a little bit different. It's not that they're right or wrong. It's just that, you know, sometimes you might want to change things up a little. I don't always go with the first uh, tile that I've done. Sometimes I might do it and think, oh, I, maybe it, I want to try it with a different pattern or something. That's why you've got a practice pages at the back of your book. And that's why they're the same size as your tiles. So I'm trying to encourage you not to throw them away, but to then put them in that book and just write a note next to them. So well, I, you know, I did this or I tried it with this pen. And then you've got a reference. Because that, that book, nobody else has to see it. It's just about you and your your practices and you know following those instructions. But trying your own things so that you know if you've got a, a tile that you think I'm not going to put that in my journal then yeah put it in the back of your uh, your book and and use it that way uh, oh Linda yeah there's a couple of brands that I I like the main one is the Sakura. I use the Sakura because I I trust them and I know that they work and I use their Micron pens. But yeah, I do use their jelly rolls. So I know some of you got them there. Yeah, there's my jelly rolls. And these are the um, the earth colours. And they're just divine. These are just divine. Actually, I've got um, the tile I did. Or the pattern I did for the card. Here we go. So that, that orangey colour is there. Look on black. And there's the mustard colour as well. Just lovely. But I also use the um, the Uniball Signal. Signo, sorry. Uniball Signo. I don't have It's in my other pencil case. They're quite nice for the uh, the board. The, uh, the, the nib is, I feel, sometimes a bit finer. But um, you can get the uh, Sakura 05s. They're quite nice. The 8, I think, is a little bit, a little bit big, maybe. Anyway, I hope you've, you've kept up with what I'm doing here. I've sort of gone in and I've added a lot of sort of lines in between. Okay, so I'm going to turn my tile now. And then I'm going to go this way. Okay. Oh, that's shooky it up a little bit, hasn't it? Like, no, that, is that right? What is she doing? Changing the direction. Oh, it's kind of cool, actually. Quite like it. And that one. Okay. Oh, Alicia, yeah, that's a good idea. Because, yeah, of course you can go straight in on the pages and draw. And I think it was important to put them pages in. I'm glad I did. But, you know... And I think the thing that makes it for me is that I actually use it for that as well. It's it's not something I've just created for people to think, oh, let's just stick some pages in the back. It, I actually use them myself. So if that's the case, then, yeah. Same with my diary. You know, I, I use my diary. I've got my uh, coloured pencil swatches and things at the back. Maybe not as... You know, to the extent of some people, but it's in there. There we go. Just filling in those gaps. And then I'm going to turn it again. 
this it's you know i think again it's just doing something that's a bit random and it doesn't have to look like um anything does it it's it's not that we've got a preconceived image in our mind of what it's going to look like it's just about that process and that spending the time just putting pen to paper really it doesn't have to look like anything it's uh, it's just about doing something with you you know with your hands and let's have a look at that okay Oh, Bernadette, no, don't worry about it. I think sometimes, you know, if you get a journal, and even if it is a bit scruffy, it's you, isn't it? It's what you've done. And then you see as, as things move on, then things get a little bit better. Or, what you know, not necessarily better, but things change and, and differ. And you can see the progress that you've made as you've gone. I bet if you look at the first tile you ever did, uh, which is what thirty five tiles ago now, and you look at a couple that you did last week, maybe bet you'll see an improvement. Oh, Sally Polychromos. Anyway, speaking of pencils, I've got my regular pencil here, and I'm going to go in now and add some shading. So where to start? We're going to start with these patterns here. So I'm going to add some to the middle section here and I've, quite, I've pressed on a bit there and then I'm going to add some to the top end as well just a little bit you, know, you can go over the black don't sort of try and think you've got to be perfectly neat with this that's not what it's about there we go tortillon now notice I'm quite proud of myself because you notice that look I've still got that there's my my white tortillon and look it's still white Look, the nip's still white. Yeah, I'm quite proud of myself for that. Okay, so I'm just going to very gently tease out that graphite from the middle. And then I'm going from the outside and working my way in. Now I'm wanting, if I can, to keep an area in the middle with no pencil on at all. Yeah. So let's take the next one then. So here I'm going to put a little bit less on because it's a bit smaller. So just just be aware that uh, the pencil does travel quite a little, quite a bit. So you don't want to be putting too much on. And of course you've got a lot of graphite from uh, that's already on your tortillon from the last one you've just done. So just be really gentle with it. Just teasing it out slightly. Okay. So look at that. Look at that. And then of course onto this one and pencil you see I'm not colouring in I'm just adding the graphite and this is where it starts to come alive isn't it I love this bit it's almost worth the wait you've got to sort of savour the moment when you put the pencil on so just smudging it round a little bit and then bringing it in but leaving that centre bit just be gentle with it okay oh they lovely I might go in and just add a little bit of pencil round and then of course let's just go in hang on a second look at those with oh yeah I'll do this one so it's I'm just gonna add some more pen see just in that bottom half there we go and in that one there okay let's have a look at that there you are see the difference that makes okay so back with pencil and let's work on this one here now I could go in there's lots of ways to shade this so there's not there's not a set way sometimes I'll just draw a line down one side and shade it sometimes you might want to shade in those bits there 
but because it's quite small I'm going to go around the outside of it like that and then just gently smooth around just smooth that edge and I'm going to leave the center so I've, I've I've sort of shaded it as one whole block rather than everything being individual and same here because we've got that slight border here it's going to give us a bit of contrast between one and the next right. there we go so I don't know if you've noticed over the past couple of weeks I've been mixing and matching or going from organic time tangles to uh, more structured and so maybe grids this one today is giving you a little bit of both because we we actually created a grid to start with although it was a slight curved one just shook it up a bit but it's definitely a structured grid there and then we've actually added some slightly more organic things around it and the beauty of that is if you can merge the two it will give you a far better outcome than just maybe having just the structured or just the organic and i think it's important to sort of work with that isn't it okay so let's have a look at the swirls what to do with the swirls you see there's there's ways again i could just go around the outside but and i could cover sections so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually add shadow just to sort of one one half you see i'm putting it on as a curve there i'm just going to focus on a few sort of in the center and i'm going to leave the others let's go a little bit larger now yeah i think sort of you've got to leave the white because otherwise how do you actually get the definition between the light and the dark yeah so i've, I've picked on just a few of them and then with my pen i'm going in and just going back over that edge you see just a little bit let's just bring that definition back in just on those you see I've really sort of brought those out but I've left the others behind hi right, mum you all right yeah you see you can see now where some of them are starting to stand out so let's do that with the, with the other one here. So same again, like I've shaded, almost so like they've got a little smile on them. So I've just picked on those three. Smooth it out a touch. And then go back in with your pen. And just add in those lines again. Okay, might go in and just heavy up those a little bit more there we go it's a little bit difficult sometimes to see round you know when you've got a camera in between it there we go so i'm just sort of thickening up that line a bit there we are you see how it just gives it a little bit of definition doesn't it okay so the one in the center paradox again there's, there's numerous ways of doing this one and we could also add extra patterns in if we wanted to but I quite like to shade from the sort of this tail end here. So if I go in and add my pencil there, and then you can see the other one is coming this way. Pencil this way. And then the same here. Now if you remember, we sort of added a little bit extra on there. So I'm going to go around there too, a little bit there. Okay, so just going to... Pull that out of it. So I'm, also, I'm just dragging it from the base there, just outwards a little bit. I'm ever so, ever so light with it. I'm not pressing on too much at all. Of course, there we are. Because I want to keep the, the white here, put the darkness down there. So... it just adding my pen at the bottom edge yeah oh oh Deb don't get annoyed with yourself just take a breath you know 
deep breath. It's just a simple little tile, a bit of paper. It's no, no big deal. All right, there we go. So you see, I've just added the pen just to the edge, just gives it that little bit of a lift, doesn't it? Okay. So let's have a look if we've got some plain ones. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go in with my pencil and I'm going to add a bit of graphite. See, I've followed the curve and then just a little bit there. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. And then on this one, oh, I've got a paradox there as well. I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay. So then nice, very small swirls I'm I'm just sort of prepping it I'm getting it ready to sort of move it out a bit you see and then drag it up a little bit there we go. now you see that I've not touched it down this side I've got this lovely white line I want to try and keep that if I can so you see that I'm sort of pushing it into the the middle but not too much there we go so same here, look, I'm just going to swirl it first, just to sort of get it going. And then push it in, and it will fade as it's going. Okay, right, let's turn around this one. Swirls. And swirls. And then push it up. And in. So I've still got that white gap there, which is something I, I want to keep. And in we go. So just with my black pen, I'm just going to make sure that I have got that line there. Which I have, and the line there, that's fine. Yeah, I don't need to put those in. It's just giving it a very serious definition there, isn't it? So just a little bit here with my... Paradox there, a little bit in, a little bit in. And just again, flick it up. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, so far, so good. Okay. So, I'm not going to even try and add a bit of shade to all of these little poke roots here. I'm going to go around the outside of my shape. I'm not particularly, again, being neat. I'm just making sure that I'm covering the area. So even look round and outside that border. And we're going to keep going. All the way round. Round there. Following that shape. And through. Sometimes as well you might you might notice that I've been quite heavy with the graphite, certainly in these places, and you see because I've gone in really heavy with it, it gives you more of a shadow because you've got that serious definition between the light and the dark. So if you look at your tile at, at any point and think I've not quite got the 3D there. It's probably because you've not put enough pencil down. You've not been heavy enough with your pencil. I I appreciate that you don't want to you add too much, at, you know, at the beginning. But go back in and add some more if you think it's not three D enough. You can always rub it out if need be. But, uh, that's usually what uh, what the issue is. And I see that quite quite a bit. And uh, it does make the difference, just adding that bit more graphite. There we go. So I'm just working my way around. I've just been really gentle with this. And just adding a little bit of a uh, you know, swoosh round. Okay. Let's have a look at that so far. Okay. Slight decision to make now. So are we going to shade on the inside of this line or are we going to shade on the outside of this line? The decision entirely up to you. I think um, 
I'm gonna go I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna go quite heavy you can see how heavy that I've gone turning my tile as I go but you might decide that you want to go inside so same sort of thing but of course if you're going inside don't sort of draw over your little roots there there we go and this is where we do um or i do if i'm going to put this in my journal because there's a lot of graphite on there uh, it, it does need fixing really so if you haven't got a spray varnish then go ahead and use some hairspray because let's face it we're not going out today are we so don't need it use some hairspray and that'll fix it for the first part you can see with this because it's it's heavy i'm going in a little bit heavy and i'm just literally moving it up and down and it's smoothing that edge off let's have a look at that so not bad at all of course final sort of touches I'm going to go back in and add the border in, the pen again. And round. And of course, you know, you've got a lot of bubbles on here. You know, when we first started, these little bubbles here. Then go ahead and, you know, use a bit of gel pen, use a glaze pen, a bit of glitter, some gems. And uh, add them in there. That's it. That'd look quite nice and it'd just bring out the feature there. But it's entirely up to you. You can uh, you can leave as is. Oh look at that. Alright, so let's add a signature in there. Just slightly get one under there. So yeah, a little bit of colour. You could add a bit of colour around some of the edges, bring one of the patterns out over the other. You could also, um, as I say, add little gems or a bit of glitter here. You could even, you know, cut the layer and matte and layer it onto other things. Yeah, 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 right, it does, it does smell nice, doesn't it? So, yeah, there's, there's lots of things. Or even, you know, try this again, but, but add in different patterns. Maybe take the lines and put the lines in here. And then take maybe, I don't know, this, this sort of pattern and put it out here there's lots of things you can do with it so it's uh it's well worth a go isn't it this one and i say adding a touch of color into these I, I might actually go ahead and do that i might see how i feel but i did say today i was going to keep it traditional i was going to keep it just to a specific pattern so uh, that's our tile for today it's uh, a bit random but i think in its own way it's uh, it's nice to do it's not got a specific sort of shape to it, things, has it? And it's not Christmassy. I know, Christmas in June is a little bit weird. So, yeah, okay. Um, please have a go at this one. Come back and, and watch it. Mute me if you need to and uh, just watch what I do. Try a few things. And if you think back, it's just literally one curly shape. And that just goes from there to then create the, the, the spaces for you to tangle in. So thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I will post a picture of my new bag. I'm so pleased with it. It's lovely. And I will actually go through and I'll pick a number at random and I will choose a name and I'll message and ask you for your address and I'll send you the uh, the card that I did or that I wanted to do on Create and Craft the other day, but I finished it anyway using the uh, stencils. So have a lovely weekend. I hope the weather cheers up a little bit. And I will speak to you all being well again on Monday at two o'clock. I've not got any, I've, I've got a few plans in mind. So I, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with yet. So just be prepared for anything as normal. A uh, couple of coloured pencils with you, you know, your regular pens. Whatever colour tile you like. And we'll uh, we'll see what we can create. So, okay, have a, have a lovely weekend, as I say, and I'll see you all again on Monday at two o'clock. All right, you take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye.